shit. I think there's a shark. Oh my god, what is that? No, what is that? Oh, okay, it's a submarine. I feel like I'm gonna pass this, it's making me dizzy as fuck. You said there's something moving. Bro, what is that? Are you seeing this? No, I'm not. But it feels like it's real. <laughs> what the fuck? I wanna see what's inside. That is exact, that's it. Geiger counter. A nuclear waste. That was me. Sorry. No, I need to stop this. You give me an eye attack. Let me skip. Let me skip. It's an advert. It's David Beckham. No, no, sorry. This is triggering my thalassophobia. Hey, so we've done VR. It was a horrendous experience. Hold on, wait. Show them the. Rachel, you don't know. Why does it say that on your door? Uh, we're gonna go to Big Tesco. And uh, have you got anything to say to the fans? Okay, let's go. Yo. All right, guys. Today is a special, a special moment. We're going to Big Tesco. Get all the bargains and the three pound, the, the four pound meal deals. Oh no. There's a fly on my steering wheel. And then now he's dead. Ugh, that's disgusting. Alright. <laughs> he's got a stain on your wheel now. Oh, fuck that. Oh my god. It could have gone horribly wrong. I mean, Why? I was going down the wrong side of the road to be fair. That was, that was my fault. But I can admit when I am wrong. Well, I wasn't really wrong. Shortly into our journey, we realized we were dangerously low on fuel. With many miles to cover, we had to drive as economically as possible. This meant driving in the highest gear possible. Look at that. Bring it over here. That. Oh my god. Drive the fucking car. That is worrying because we're right on the last sliver of fuel. This was only the beginning of our problems. The fuel station was closing in less than half an hour. So now, not only did we have to drive as economically as possible, we were also in a race against time. And after our accident, we had minutes to go until the fuel station would no longer be open. This really was a race against time. You're coming with me. But we had one more thing to check off the list before we could fill up. Bathroom essentials. <laughs> Please boss, I, 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 he's looking at me like, nope, it's not happening. <laughs> Please boss, let us in. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah. Welcome to Big Tesco. <laughs> See, I have, no, I have no idea about any of this stuff. This is the- we look for bin bags. Bin bags? Well, they ain't here. They're probably in the bin bag aisle. I left my wallet in the car on purpose and I'm gonna get her to buy me this. She's none the wiser right now, but no. I think she'll give. Lay, yeah. buy me this fucking toffee apple. Okay. I, it worked. <laughs> While we were in the shop, I ran into some of England's finest. Mason Mount, can I get a quick interview? Mm. Oh, tasty. All right, Phil. Yeah, let me get some. Oh, this is Kyle, Mr. Walker. Oh, let me get some of that. Oh. Okay. No, they won't. Club card accepted. Leo, we made it out alive. Moments to spare. We got my toffee apple. We made it out with eight minutes to spare. The final moment off our checklist is to get fuel. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pass it over to primetime camera woman. Booty, dick and pussy. What the fuck? We were literally seconds from running out of fuel and within mere moments of the petrol station closing. But my feelings of relief instantly withdrew when I saw the prices. They'd gone up again. But as usual, all was well in the end. Okay. Hello. Epic refueling. Thank you ever so much for watching this wonderful piece of modern film and television history take place right in front of you. Don't forget to subscribe to see more top quality 
wholesome, family-oriented content.